Welcome to the T. Lily Show. I'm your host, T. Lily. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> you know, this is our fourth episode, and I want to thank everyone who supported us. My producer, Drew, and our viewers and everyone else, I'm serious. They take their time out to watch me. The first thing I want to say is happy birthday, Colleen. Come on, y'all. Yes. A, yes. A good friend of mine. Today is her birthday. They've given her a surprise birthday. She's going to be watching my show, hopefully. And that's why I'm not there, Colleen. I was invited to do comedy, but... I had a T. Lily show, so I'm at the TV studio right now on your birthday, January 5th. Please forgive me for not being there, but happy birthday, Colleen. God love you, and so do I. Yes. Yes. Now, I have great news. T. Lily, the T. Lily show, has been nominated for a WAVE Award. Whoa. Yes. Yes. I was nominated, that's right. The awards will be held here in Long Beach, and we have more to talk about with that later, okay? Today on my show, we have Brother George Medina, yes, <laughs> from Beacon for Him Ministry, and we also have Brandon Ellie Elton to my show, yes. I, I, I hope I'm saying it right, is it Elton? Elton. It's Elton, I'm right. Just like John Elton, that's right. Brandon Elton from Christian Outreach. Yes. Christian, Christian Outreach and Long Beach. And before we get started, now I want you to know this. I want you to know I'm doing a comedy show. I play an old lady called Granny. And T. Lily is doing a comedy show, and it's called Granny Meets Elvis. Okay, on January 18th, that's a Friday, and it's from 11 a.m. to 12 p.m. at the 4th Street Senior Center, and the address is 1150 East 4th Street here in Long Beach, okay? So January 18th is free. So come out and see T. Lily play Granny with Elvis Presley, okay? Elvis is really going to be there, well, we know. You know, anybody seen Elvis lately? But anyway, this guy, John, he plays Elvis, and it's, he's awesome. Also, I was in a movie called Flavor. Granny Have a Ludo Part is out on YouTube, y'all. <laughs> she, she Lily is on YouTube. I play Granny. You can't miss me. My baby sister is one of the producers. Her name is Love. She's awesome in the movie. She plays the mother, and her name is Mary. I was told by... Two people today, that is an excellent movie. So go on YouTube, and all you have to do is go on YouTube and look for flavor, okay? Type it in and pop up. Now, I want to tell you about this woman I know. Linda Payton is here. Linda Payton came to see T. Lily play It's a Jesus Name. Now, in the play, I lip sync professionally. I really do. God gave Linda vision, and he told her, put on a concert of people lip singing. So I believe this is her fourth one coming up. That's right, at the 4th Street Senior Center is dedicated to Don Cornelius. Now I'm gonna tell you, it's February 22nd, the last Friday in February from 1 to 3.30, okay? T. Lily is gonna be lip singing and I'm gonna be lip singing Aretha Franklin, okay? So come on out, it's free, it's dedicated to Don Cornelius, the creator Ada of Soul Train. Let's give God some glory with that. Yeah. Yeah. At the 4th Street Senior Center. So don't forget, the 18th is Granny meets Elvis, right? At the 4th Street Senior Center. And don't forget, February 22nd, Linda Patton, her new lip sync show. I think it's her fourth one. I think, I think I've been in three of them. But it's the 22nd. It's going to be awesome. You're going to have a ball. So look, we got a big show for you. Let's get this show started. God love you and so do I. I'll see you in a minute. Mwah. I don't know if you know this, but uh, I always talk about T. Lily wrote a book through God. Matter of fact, God used me. And it's called It's a Jesus Thing. And it's about a woman whose son went to prison for, and when the son came out of prison, he hated his mother's new life. 
which means she's a Christian. It started out as a play, and then God blessed me to write the book, and soon it's going to be a movie. Amen? Amen. Amen. Show. Let me hear you make some Holy Ghost noise for Brother George. Yeah. 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 Thank you, Chief Lady, Lady, for having me. The last time you was here, you was in the audience. Yes, ma'am. And I want to thank you so much. Another thing I want to say is that you came to my show today and brought everybody, gave everybody t shirts, even myself. Granny t shirt and also caps. We all got caps if you see the audience. And I want the audience and myself at the same time to say thank you, George. What you do? Three. Thank you, George. Let's give him a hand. Yes. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. No, thank you, thank you Jesus. You, you absolutely Amen. Right. Amen. You're absolutely right. You made me look so stupid <laughs> on my show with that one. Oh, that's but, it's easy. Okay. but you know, we meant thank you, Jesus, George. Okay. <laughs> the, the symbol. Okay, which I call a uh, letter V straight up. Tell us about this. Well, this is an international symbol uniting Christians around the world. It's God is greater, period. We don't, have to, we don't have to look at it and try to figure it out or understand it. It's just a simple God is greater, period. You don't have to explain it. It's self-explanatory. And it doesn't have any letters on it, so it can go around the world. Anywhere in the world you see the symbol, you know that's a Christian person or an organization. Right, like, the, like fishes. Sometimes I drive and I would see two fishes mm -hmm. together right, that somebody right, came right. up with. So when, when I look at it, of course, I look at it as a letter V. Right. Okay, now I want to ask you something else. Uh, Do you remember how we met? Oh, yeah. From Beacon, for oh, you. Know? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Tell me about that. Like many people, you know, you're just in there. You know, it's really noisy, and, uh, you know, it's uh, outreach for the homeless, and all of a sudden there's this bigger noise. <laughs> and Is it's, he saying that to me? <laughs> I'm the bigger noise? <laughs> <laughs> and it's T. Lily. And, you know, you're just attracted to her right away, you know, and, and that's what sort of like the symbol means, you know, like, when you know someone's a Christian, you can show them that love because we have that love of Jesus and we have love for each other especially. Yes. Now, um, speaking for him, it's right there on Atlantic and uh, Magnolia. You, I remember, I was in charge of the line. And I remember me, and you came up to me and said, hi, my name is George, Brother George, and I'm here to feed the homeless that's disabled. So your job was to bring the ones that couldn't hold a tray. And that's how I remember meeting you. Right. And when you told me your name, I was constantly, George! Yeah. George! <laughs> <laughs> George, disabled, do you have a riot? So I said, okay, I got two things to you. Do you remember that? Yeah, George, yeah. George, he was yeah. like, oh, I'm so sorry I told that girl yeah. my name. I don't know what to do. I know. Okay, now, I want to talk seriously with you about how God changed your life. You have a scripture. Right. Tattooed on your arm. Right. Right here. And I remember meeting you. I was doing It's a Jesus thing. You, I, and my assistant, Debbie. I want to say, I, I'm so blessed with her. Amen. Debbie Miles. I, I said, I want to let her know that. Debbie, I, I, I'm so blessed with you. Thank you, baby. Love her. She does a lot of work for me. She runs around. And also, I want to say hi to Mama Sean. But back to you. You, me, you, and you, I, and Debbie was outside. And I happened to notice your arm. And I said, what is this? You got a scripture tattoo on your skin? And you said, yes. So, it's deep, you guys. Could you read it to us, please? Yeah. God had mercy on me because I did it in ignorance and unbelief. That was me in my sinful life. Just like uh, Paul, who was Saul before the trans transformation. transformation into a Christian. And this is located where? This is uh, 1 First Timothy, Timothy 1.13. And pretty much God had mercy on me. Mm -hmm. He's, it's unwarranted favor. And he forgot, he forgave all my sins. And I have to, be, and I have to stand on that because... I was born a sinner, and then I was transformed through the Holy Spirit. 
and through God's mercy, through the Son of Jesus Christ. Okay, so when you was getting the scripture tattooed, you changed that day? Or was that a day that you wanted to change? Tell me about that. Was what? you sitting there, was you clean and sober when you did? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Was you saved? Yeah. Yeah. You changed your yeah. life? Oh, yeah. I knew I was transformed. Okay, so you woke up. You and just you can't. Knew exactly, you was going to put a tattoo on your arm. When I read scripture? that, when I read that, and when I read mercy, he had mercy on me mm. because I did it in ignorance. Ignorance it means that you don't know. You'd, I didn't know that I was a sinner. But then I realized that I was, and then God had mercy on me and forgave me my sins, and I was, a, a, I was reborn a new creation. Amen. Yeah. Amen. And you Powerful. know, you know, can I ask you a question? Do you remember where you was when you heard God's voice, when your transformation came? Uh, <coughs> not really. No? You know, and, and uh, my daughter made me a cross. And, and your daughter's and, in the audience, right? Yes. What's her name? Christina. Christina, thanks for coming to the T. Lily Show. Yeah. 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 You brought your whole family here, right? Right, right. right. Name them for me. <coughs> Christina, Amanda. Amanda. They're not his sisters. Yeah, those are my, those are my two daughters. Two daughters, uh-huh. And then uh, Jeremiah, my oldest grandson. Elise, my second. And uh, Roxanne, my littlest, over there. Okay, well, I wanted to say to them, I am grateful you guys are here with Grandpa. Amen. Do they call you Grandpa or what? What do they call you? Oh, yeah, Grandpa. Grandpa? Yeah, uh-huh. Okay, so let's get back to you. Um, when you preach, uh, uh, one time I seen you, you was going to Mexico. Oh, yeah. To minister. Tell us about it. Oh, yeah. That. Well, you know, we just go out there, and uh, we have a mission down there from my church, you know, my former church, but now I go to uh, Beacon for Him Church. Okay. It's a small outreach for homeless. And, uh, yeah, we go down there and assist. Uh, we used to build a house in the summertime in three to four days, you know, have a house built for, for a family, you know, mm -hmm. in the summertime. And we'd go down there and, uh, you know, pass out clothing and food and, and then for the winter time, we do a lot of blanket giveaway, and you know, and we're just so thankful at the abundance that we have here. You know, that we just go out and help others. You know, and that, and that's the heart of a Christian okay. is to help others. Now you was telling T. Lily and also the audience about the symbol. Let's talk about that. The symbol. So oh, okay, it's okay now. Tell us, tell us what we're doing. Okay, what, of what, course what? you know it's this symbol. If you see it here. Yeah, see it here. No, not. And, and your hat, and if you're in a crowd, you go, you're like this. So crowd, let's show the symbol. There you go. There you go. That's it. That's it. You know, if you're in a crowd, can you imagine twenty thousand people agreeing that God is greater? Okay, thank you. Thank you. Yes, yes, yes that would be awesome. Yeah. I mean, it's awesome seeing them do it on my show. I'm thank you so much. Let's do it again. Woo! Hey. It's, it's almost like we're flying. Are you you know. Flying? I feel like I'm flying. Amen. Now, you always had us say something at Binkin. Tell us about that. God is? Oh, yeah. Of course we live to say, God is greater. greater. God is greater. greater. There you go. You Do know. you start this everywhere you go? Do you start God is greater? Not really, but we do it at um, Beacon, you know, because it was accepted, you know, and we're all Christians there, so... Uh, you know, we say it at our morning prayer before we uh, get started with the homeless there. Okay. Well, first of all, I want to say, George, I am really excited you on my show. And uh, most of all, you brought your family. And not just that, you're a good man. Thank you. And what's your wife's name? Ilona. Ilona. And you've been married how long? Over 30 years. <laughs> what's the secret? <laughs> Listen to her, right? <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's all... You know, under God, you know, everything's under God, you know. And that's what marriage is between two people that become one in Christ. Wow. A lot of marriages don't last that long. Right, right. You, you go through hard times, too, believe me. How do you deal with that? How do you deal with hard times? Mercy. You know, just, just know that you were a sinner one time, and if there's a sinner in your family, you have mercy on them. So basically, I'm not going to, I'm putting you on the spot. Yeah. Okay, you're on the T. Lily show. I can do that. Basically, you say, if your wife stood by you when you was out in the world, is that correct?
right? Right, right. She stood by you. Yeah. And, I, <coughs> and I'm standing by her today. Amen. And her name is again? Ilona. Ilona. Ilona, you go, girl. You go, girl. You trained a good man. She trained Amen. a good man. She Amen. trained a good man. Really, I give, because, uh, you know, to have a good man, you need really a good woman. And nowadays, marriages don't last for 30 years. I don't, I don't know. I don't know another couple that been married 30 years. Uh, most marriages don't last three months. Right. Right. Never mind 30 years, and I want to say I salute you and your wife for that. Let's give them a hand. Yeah, that's, that's awesome. And how many, so how many girls do you have? You only have two girls? Yes. Any boys? Well, I have uh, no, no, no boys, no, but... No, those are grandsons. Yeah, I have, you, you I have two grandsons. You know why? Because I had a heart of anger, and I was third generation anger, and... God wanted to break that curse, so he didn't give me no boys. That's what I figured. That's what you think? And when my heart was right with him, he blessed me with two, two, two boys. Two grandsons. That makes sense. Well, God didn't bless me with no kids. Thank you! <laughs> <laughs> How about a blind man? Yeah, I take care of him. But I, I, <laughs> oh, God. He's videotaping. <laughs> Really, God, I, I don't have any kids. And uh, I had a lot of surgeries. You know about my life, right? right. <coughs> and uh, I was born with uh, arthritis disease. Okay, My bones deteriorate, they say. And every surgery, I can't even count. I, I, I've been sliced and diced and put back together more than twice. I ain't lying. <laughs> uh, my thing is I tell people, well, uh, Herman Monster have nothing on T. Lily, you know? The only... <laughs> The only thing I think I'm missing with Herman Mounts is the bolts right here. <laughs> with everything else, we connected. And I remember laying in a hospital, thanking God I didn't have any kids. And the reason why I was wondering who was picking them up, who was taking them to the school, who's going to dress them, who's going to feed them. See, we don't <coughs> think of stuff like that. And I didn't realize until you said, you don't believe God gave you a son because your heart was bitter. Right. I believe God didn't give T. Lily kids because I was in a wheelchair all my life. And it was so impossible for me to raise kids. And I thank him. And what he did, what he made me a wonderful godmother. I'm, I'm a godmother to so many kids. It's unbelievable. And I, I don't give them anything, you know. And, uh, you know, they meet me and say, would you be my godmother? You know, and how could you tell a child no? It's like, yeah, baby. Mm -hmm. So how many you got, T. Lily? I don't know, 150. Okay. You know? Amen. <laughs> God made me Amen. that I can give love. Amen? Amen. So, so you got two daughters, okay? You've been married 30 years. Now, are your family Christians also? Not really. Not you know, really. like, if they are, they're first generation Christians, you know, and. There's a lot of work to be done in the family, you know. It's important to, uh, you know, spread the word of the Christian, you know, Christian faith, you know. And, you know, it, everybody should be a Christian. You know, that's the bottom line, you know. But if you're a God believer, creates I think you're a Christian. Yeah, yeah. If you're a believer, the, the Bible says, if you just believe, that's all we have to do. And the <coughs> devil got our minds so tore up that we have to have a... A, a perfect life. There's no such thing as a perfect life. I need to do this first, and I need to do that first before I could go to church. The devil, you are a liar. Jesus said, come as you are. Let him transform you. Let him clean you up. Let God turn you around, and then you can do it. See, we, 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 want, we think church is perfect. Church is not perfect. And the reason why, this is T. Lily talking now, the devil sent people to keep a lot of people from going to church. Amen? Amen. Amen. Keep a lot of people from going to serve. Seriously. Amen. Especially in dressing. Amen. I have been to a lot of churches where I felt uncomfortable that I didn't have heels. And I didn't have stockings. And I didn't have a suit. And I didn't have a big hat. You understand? And I had to learn. God said, come as you are. I could have a better time just being T. Lily. Just... Let me praise him the way I want to praise him, you know, because some churches you can't praise the way. I was born and raised as a Seventh-day Adventist, and that was a big no-no. 
until my godmother <coughs> took me to her church, a Baptist church. And I tell you, them people was jumping up and flipping and flopping. And I, I said to myself, I said to her, oh, my God, they're going to hell. And she said, why would you say that? I said, look at them. They flipping and running. And she said, you can praise like that. I said, what? I've been flipping and flopping and praising ever since. Amen. But Seventh-day Adventist, my mother church, you don't do that. You go in the closet. That's their that's they lesson. We have all these religions. And none of us is teaching each other about love. What about love? Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. You got a comment Amen. That? Oh you yeah. Got a comment? You know what? We're on the same. We're on the on the same sheet of music here. I wrote down here. Jesus said the new command is love one another, and that's John fifteen seventeen. And then if you want to be a Christian, all you have to do is humble yourself before the Lord, and He will raise you up. And that's James four ten. Okay. Why don't you repeat that? Okay. Humble yourself mm -hmm. before the Lord, and he will raise you up. James 4.10. Humble yourself before the Lord. What do that mean, humble? Know that he's greater than you. But you know? Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. You know, and at Beacon, you know what? When I go to Beacon, and it says, you know, love one another, that's possible at Beacon, you know, because we feel the love there. Yeah, we do. You know? Yeah. Matter of fact, I got one, two, two of my guests from Beacon, Debbie, and another awesome person from Beacon. Right. I can't remember your name, I'm sorry. Mashaan. Mashaan, sure is. Mashaan. Yeah. You remember her? Yeah, from yeah. Beacon? Oh, yeah. And she had a transformation there. Transformation? Yeah, she's a transformation. Yes. Amen. I saw her before. Amen. Matter of fact, I'm going to have her and Debbie on my show one day. That'd they, be awesome. they have a testimony that will blow your mind. Matter of fact, that testimony is so out there, you would think they lying, you know? Some testimonies, you think people lying, you know? Amen? I have a scripture that God gave me to say this morning. It was, says uh, Psalms 116, verse 1 and 2. It says, I love the Lord, for he heard my cry. I'm going to read that again because it didn't say cry. <laughs> <laughs> Just, just in case somebody look it up. You know what I mean? You never know. <laughs> right. Somebody might be looking up and say, why did Lily lie? Don't say that. Okay, let's try it again, okay? Mm -hmm. Psalms 116, verse 22. I love the Lord for he heard my voice. Okay? He heard my voice and my cry for mercy because he turned his ear to me. I will call on him as long as I live. And that's the strip that God gave me. We got to wrap it up. God love you. You want to close and say something? It's all good it's in all Christ. Good. God love you, so do I. We'll be back with my next guest. See you in a minute. Yeah. <laughs> interview with brother George. George, thank you. I love my hat. I love my shirt. There you go. Okay. God is greater. No, that's too weak. Say it again. God is greater. That's how you say it. Please welcome to the show my new friend that I met at Christian Outreach Center in Long Beach. They have Cedar Day. And T. Lily have a lot to do with it. I'm the loudest one day, I believe. But I met this man <laughs> named <laughs> Brandon Elton, like Elton John. Yep. That's how he reminds me. He's like Elton John, T. Lily. <laughs> Please give a warm welcome to Brandon Elton on my show. <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh, bless oh my you. Goodness. You know, I, I want to say I love your spirit. Well, thank you. I'm going to start off my show saying that. Also, um, thank you for supporting me for It's a Jesus thing. Absolutely. Absolutely. I'm totally blown away with oh. that. It's amazing. And I also want to say, do you remember how we met? Well, I remember mm -hmm. how we met. Uh, I don't think you remember the first time, but... No, I don't. Uh, <laughs> it was at our senior um, function. Okay. Uh, and you were running around. And well, don't say that on TV. I was most basically hopping. Well, know? I'll say uh, 
I'll say you were the uh, loud one. Okay. Well, the noticeable one. The, the, you well, you take control. It's okay. Yeah, yeah that's what it there is. There it is. I'm loud. I take control. Everybody listens. Everybody they do, though. Yeah, they sure do. I think I scare them. You think I scare people? Well, you scared me the first time. Oh, my God. Maybe did. that's why you don't remember me, because I was, you know, a little shy and... I was running around like crazy, so okay. Yeah. But I think. But the last one, I was a little bit more involved, and, right. and then that's because we I told you I don't remember you. You said I remember you before, and I said a couple you know, of times actually. I remember you. Uh, matter of fact, we just did bingo. It was a uh, for Christmas. Yeah, it was. Uh, uh, I think December. Well, right, December 15th? something. Yeah, yeah. we had a, a over a hundred people. It was a. It was, it was, more than what we expected, but we jump on, you know, the bandwagon and just make it work. Now, uh, uh, you know, I volunteer, okay, a lot, all over the world, all over Southern California. And uh, the, the, God bless me that your boss. Dixie. Dixie. Hi, which I, Dixie. Which I have to say hello. Hi. She's one of the reasons why I'm working here. I absolutely love Dixie. She's, she is an amazing person. I'm, I'm blessed that she's in my life. Well, I'm so blessed she liked me because... Uh, she loves you. The next time... Really? No, she loves you. She really? thinks you're great. I, really? Yeah. But I, I know the next time I'm with the in, uh, volunteer, she had a professional badge made for me. And it <laughs> yeah. says, Christian Outreach with T. Lily on. And I'm like, what? See, you know, that if you get a badge... Back. That means that she loves you. Okay, well, yeah. I love you too. I love me. <laughs> Tell us, what do you do for the church? That's why I had to know about y'all. Well, um, I was hired as uh, public relations and events. Um, it's rolled into public relations, events, uh, warehouse. Um, I work with our uh, thrift store. So I have a few hats. But I, I absolutely... I love it. I get up every day and uh, go to work, and I'm smiling and stay probably a lot longer than I should, but uh, I, I couldn't imagine a better job. Okay, now you, you, you had a bunch of notes. Oh, you know, I'm, I'm What's always... What's up with these notes? I'm you, always... You came in here with a bunch of paperwork. What's happening? <laughs> no, these are just... I hope I ain't signing nothing, because I ain't signing <laughs> nothing. <laughs> no, these these are just our, our programs that we have and, um, you know, our flyers. And I take those around to senior centers, um, schools. Uh, but, um, you know, they're they're out everywhere. But I'll, I'll give you a couple to okay. spread out. Um, it talks about the programs. You know, we have all of our meals, um, breakfast, daily, lunch is um, only on Saturdays and the last Sunday of the month. And then dinner is Monday through Friday. And it's located where? where, where? It, it, uh, we're at 3rd and Linden. It's, a, it's an old church. Um, we, we purchased it years ago. We've been here for over 35 years. Um, our focus is to help those in need or the homeless, um, low-income families, seniors, um, veterans, kids. Mm -hmm. I mean... I, I'll help anybody, you know. Okay, um, so it's called Christian, Christian Outreach. Outreach in Action. Now, how do you help us? I mean, let's say somebody's watching and they want, they need help. What, what do we do? Um, just, you know what? They can go right down to the um, church, uh, 3rd and Linden. Mm -hmm. They can even ask for me. I will, I will if I can't help them, I'll find somebody that, that can help them. Okay, now, give me the dates. They give groceries when? On Tuesdays and Thursdays, and uh, that is between 9 a.m. to noon. All and they, they do? give good food. They get, I mean, real good honey. I'm talking about ribs, and I'm talking about lamb. and. If we have it, we'll... If um, they have it, I'm saying really, really food. You know, it's not... The, whatever you give is a grateful. Oh, yeah. But the, the, when I went there to volunteer one time, I couldn't believe what they were serving the people. They was giving the people. Our it donors. Was like, this is the bomb yeah. right here. I walked out of there. I ain't lying. Two big old men. <laughs> you know, I, I shared it. But, you know, they was throwing it at me, you know. I was like, no, 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 yeah. You know? 
And we have clothes, some great people oh that donate. God. Oh, yeah. And yeah. you know, your clothes have, still have tags on them. Some of them, um, I mean, we have, you know, the people that bring stuff in to donate, um, they will, you know, they come in and I haven't worn this, you know. And so if we, whatever we have, um, you know, we'll give. Um, I sort through stuff. Um, I send stuff to our thrift store located on Clark and Atherton, called Clark and Atherton. And the ladies over there are wonderful. They so you have do. a thrift store? We do. Did, did anybody <laughs> know where this new this? And where is this located? On Clark and Atherton. And it's called Clark and Atherton Mercantile. Clark and, a Clark and what now? Atherton. It's like, um... There's uh, no number? Near. One, well, one, two, <laughs> three, some? It is 1772 Clark Avenue. You did not see, see that's what I was yeah. talking about. Yeah. One, seven, what is it now? 1772 Clark Avenue. One, write it down. One, seven, seven, seven two, two, Clark Avenue. Avenue in Long Beach. And uh, now, let me this see. is a clothing store, correct? It is um, slightly used merchandise. Um, you know, clothes. We have um, household items. We have uh, evening gowns. Look at see. He died for me to get one of his evening gowns for the award show. I, 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 I want to help you with that. What Absolutely. Else? Really? Um, what else we got? Uh, we have uh, art. We have um, frames. Uh, now, now the women, it caters to women. I'm working on a, you know, a little bit more okay. men's area, but we got about this big, two racks, and the rest of the store is women. Okay, we, one day we Jewelry? Gotta go. Me and my girlfriend. Oh. We need to. Yeah. We need to just go. Let's just and let's just go see what is these displays. I have never knew. Oh yeah, we have great. And it's connected to. Christian outreach. No, it's it's, it's it, outreach. Oh yeah, it, um, everything. Um, all the funds go to um, help us. Wow, yeah, Clark I will and give Everton. You, Look oh, yeah. at this. They even sell lamps. I need a good lamp. Okay, what else you got for us with this church? Oh, I love these people. What <laughs> we are, we, you know, what I, I I love these people too. They're <laughs> great. Them. I'm talking I, about Christian outreach. This. Well, is I'm lovely. talking about them too. I love them too. They. What uh, is this? Look at yeah. this. It's, it is a great little is store. Is it expensive? No. It's a thrift store. But we make it look nice. Some thrift stores are expensive, baby. Now, I don't know what you're talking about. Not ours. Those thrift stores on 4th Street is very high. And, you know, we even have our $2 sales. So, what? like the clothes. <laughs> Somebody yeah. in the audience say, what? Yeah. yeah. $2. Shoes. Now, T. Lily got $2. Shir now. Shoes, shirts, um, pants, blouses. Um, yeah, we have those sales. Uh, and... And we try to throw them out, you know, in the middle of, you know, a month or... Okay, can you... I don't have my bar focus on. Can you read this? This is very important. Read that. Oh, you're going to make me... Yeah. <laughs> About I admit, us. I don't... I, I need my bar focus. Do you wear glasses? No. I can read it. Well, get to I'm, read it, brother. <laughs> About us, Clark and Atherton Mercantile is operated by COA, Christian Outreach in Action, the largest outreach program supporting the homeless and low-income Commun communities in Long Beach. Your donation helps us continue serving meals and other numerous programs for those in need. We are all volunteers and everything we do goes back into helping those less fortunate. Well, we got to give a hand for that. That's, that's wonderful. Now that, that's printed on the card. Absolutely. See? That's printed on the card. Now yep. you have another card. I have several. Okay. Oh, oh. Come on. Um, I have uh, our, well, we have the food bank on Tuesdays and Thursdays. No, we don't know nothing about that. Oh, yeah. We just talked about it. Come in um, on Tuesdays and Thursdays, 9 a.m. to, 9 a.m. to um, 12. Okay, so Tuesdays and Thursdays, the food bank. Food bank. Now, when do you feed people? Um, uh, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. But breakfast is every day of the week. <coughs> um, lunch is only on Saturdays and the last Sunday of the month, and dinner is Monday through Friday. Wow, now what time do they serve breakfast? Breakfast is at 7 a.m. to 8 a.m. Wow, yep. what about the lunch? Lunch is 11 a.m. to 12 p.m. on Saturdays and the last Sunday. Okay. And dinner, we start um, at 4.30 to 5.30. And they just, um, 
nothing is required if you want to just come into the chapel, take a seat, um, and we call people by rows. We'll feed anybody that's willing to wait in line. I don't know about you, but they deserve a hand. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. So you, 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 feed the, you feed the homeless. You give us clothing. What else you need, got for us? Um, we also have what we call Free Fridays, mm -hmm. and that is all non-food. So household items, clothes, um, and we have it on the tables, um, and they come in, and they just choose, uh, and they get eight items, eight items every Friday, free. Now, and if there is a family that has okay, now several kids. Okay, what time is this? Friday free. Um, Friday free, Friday free. <laughs> free Friday, 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. 9 a.m. to 2 Did y'all know any of this? No. Oh. Isn't this a great show? Yeah. Oh, my God. Okay. It gets better. It gets better. Wow. Bring, bring it on, baby. Bring it on. We also have um, the pet food. We help, you know, because there's so many, you know, homeless that have, you know, either little dogs or cats. And, you know, usually they will feed their pet before they eat. That's so um, we, and, and sometimes we don't always have, you know, um, pet food or it's just what we get donated in. Then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, we don't think we have anything, and here comes, you know, one of our, you know, people that donate stuff, and it's bags of dog food or bags of cat food or, you know, bird food. You know, we have pet blankets, and whatever we have, we'll hand them out. God, and that's on God, Thursdays. God is great. 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. Wow. Okay, so basically we have something going on every day. Is Except for Wednesday. Except for Wednesday. Um, but we haven't talked about Friday, what we do on Friday. Free Friday. I thought it was well, that, Friday. That, that, um, yes, but we also have diapers that we give out on Fridays. Oh. Yeah. You give out diapers on Friday. Yeah. Um, 10 a.m. to noon. What they have to do is just bring in their child um, with, like, a uh, birth certificate or something, and we give out whatever we can. We have from um, <coughs> newborn up to seven, and we even have, you know, for seniors as well. If ne if Diapers maybe. for seniors. Yes. Yeah. My God, this is awesome. This is absolutely awesome. Now, when I met you, you was telling me that you look for places for homeless men. Um, well, Tell us about that, that. We have a men's program, and um, I'm going to be going out uh, this coming year, um, well, Dixie's going to be, you know, the one to take um, lead on this. But and that, that's the big boss. Y she is. Besides God. She okay, is. So it's God, then it's Dixie. <laughs> yeah. She's more, you know, she's just, she's just this wonderful she's just person. She's lovable. Yeah, just she is. But um, we go out and we um, find you know, a men, men that are ready to, you know, change their life. Um, I, I'm, I'm, I'm fairly new at, you know, Christian outreach, so every little task I do is, is something new. So, but we have uh, premises, a uh, house on, this, on the premises where we have three men that help there at COA and, you know, like um, drive our truck or help with dinner, and they also stay and um, they stay work for us. Uh, well. We have a, a small house. And uh, it's a wonderful program. I mean, the guys are great, you know. I, I just, it's like, you know, I don't see, you know, them having, you know, troubles. But they've worked through, you know, whatever their issues were. And one That's day why at you time, love your job. I let do. me ask you, how did you get this job? You looked on the Internet and said, ah, let me. No. I, Tell um, us about it. I actually volunteered uh, for oh, a little so bit. Oh, so you started out as a volunteer. Well, yeah, and I, um, uh, a friend uh, knew Dixie for about nine years, and we would just go and we would um, kind of chit-chat and BS, and uh, I walked in, and she says, you know, I'm looking for a job. I have an opening, and I think you'd be great at it. Mm, what Isn't is it? that something? Walking some building. Oh, you'd be great at this. 
you can have this job. That's God. Oh, uh, I, I, I tell you, did things you happen for a reason. Him? What did you say? What did you do? What did I you said, I, I'd, I'd love to do that. I, I, like I said, I, I, I wake up with a smile. You know, I, I, I go into work with a smile. You deserve it. It's, um, sometimes it can be um, taxing, you know. But, uh, but then there's that one situation that happens and you go, okay, this is why I'm doing it. You know, this is, this is how I'm helping and this is what I'm supposed to do. Okay, you don't want to talk about that situation. I guess that's Well, there's crazy. been a couple and I, I you know, I... I, I don't want to ever say anything that might, somebody might go, oh, that was me that you're talking about. But, um, and sometimes they might even, not even know that I've noticed, you know, right. what's going on. Mm -hmm. But, uh, yeah, I, I will, would help anybody, you know, that asked me. Well, you have a good heart and... Uh God loves you, and so do I. <laughs> it's the reason why we laugh and it got real bright in here in the studio. So if you at home and your TV just lit up. That wasn't me. It, it wasn't me, and it wasn't Brandon. And maybe we could ask Debbie if she could sit in the corner <laughs> so she won't drop anything or hit another light switch. What would we do with Debbie, my best? Assistant ever. She's awesome. She's, I, she's, she is. She's, 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 she's awesome. Okay, our story meeting. I'm going to have her and Mickey, Missy, on my show to talk about how we met. I love to meet people, real people. When they, me and Debbie friendship is unbelievable if you hear how we met. You were supposed to have a scripture for me. I do. And Actually, I, I did find a, one scripture and one quote that I always think about. Um, the scripture is, let all that you do be done with love. That's Corinthians 16, 14. I like that. Could you repeat that? Let all that you do be done with love. Let all that you do be done with love. Let's yep. say that together. Let all, all that, that you, you do, do be done, done with, with love. love. And where is that located? Corinthians 16, 14. Ready? Corinthians 16, 14. That's the bomb right there. And all you do, do it with love. Amen? Absolutely. I like that. I probably read that a thousand times and never knew it. You know, you ever open your Bible and see a scripture you, you swore they just threw it in there? Yeah. It's like I've been reading this Bible all my life. Ain't never seen this here. <laughs> it's like God would put stuff like that because I don't know exactly where it is, but I remember. You need to see it when, you know, at that time. It's at like, oh, that that's. time, that's. Yep. That's what it is. I tell you. Because you swear. Because I'll really, read the Bible. I'm going to read it. Debbie to that tell you page. that right there. <laughs> Debbie said in a minute, you only we read the Bible, really, Debbie? Who? Me, you, and Oh, oh. Me, you, and them on them. Let's move on. You know. But I read the Bible. I don't remember that script. I like that. Thank I you. I do too. What else you got? I told for? you I would have a I'd come yeah, up with a good one. I yeah. like that. Now this is this is something I've seen and I wrote it down and I I, I remember it now, but it is I don't know. It's it's it says, I, I don't it. know. I don't remember <laughs> that in the Bible. <laughs> well, this one's, this one's not in the Bible. This is just oh. a, a good quote. quote. Okay, bring it. To the world, you may be one person, mm -hmm. but to one person, you might be the world. Wow, say that again. To the world, you might may be one person, mm -hmm. but to one person, you might be the world. Oh, isn't that cute? That, that reminds me of... <laughs> okay, we won't rewind that one. He's not gonna rewind it. You think? Oh, I, he's gonna put it in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's gonna, yeah. Well, that's that's what that's what Drew do. The Drew back there. That's why I'm nominated because of God and him. Amen. God oh, no, the glory. No. That's why Is I'm nominated. Is it because of you? Because he does the work. You're amazing. I, I don't do. You are. Oh, so sweet. I don't do anything. I, I really, uh, this is what I do. I mean, 
This is you what have I a do. gift to pull people together. Oh, I love that song. Praise is what I do. But what I wanted to tell you, yes. you maybe miss my concentration. And it was really I, important. I, I, I do that all the time. It was very important. Mm. Can't remember. Ah. Okay. <laughs> okay, but what I want to know, I know you said you had a store for a lot of women. If a woman is battered, where, where do we go? Where do we go? You call talk me. basically about we could call you too? Yeah. If, if, um, I thought or, you I didn't or, help women. I thought you didn't no, help women. Um, we, do, we do referrals. So we will, we will find um, a place um, for them to go, whether it's, you know, uh, and they can um, be picked up or I said we'll help however we can. Okay, we'll, now we'll is, it, is it possible we could give the number of... Uh, absolutely. Number. Um, could you um, give it to the world Absolutely. Um, we're, this is the address okay. for um, uh, Christian Outreach. We are at 515 East 3rd Street. Okay. It's right on the corner. I mean, it's a, it's a you know, white and brown church. Can't miss it. Um, the phone number is 562-432-1440. And that is our direct line. Um, uh, one one of us will answer the phone, and um, but not on weekends. This is just weekdays, right? Uh, yeah, just just on weekdays. Um, now well, that kind of I have I actually have had um, you know a pastor call me on the weekend, and okay. uh, I referred him to you know um, you know place where he could help this individual, but. That's not always the case, you know. That was he had my cell phone by 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 chance, and but I was glad to help. Uh, I wanted to before I forget. Now I remember. I want to say hello to your family. Where's your family? Look, my family. I'm from Utah. Utah. I, okay. I was born and raised, and uh, at 20 I moved down here to California. You know, bright eyed, and you know, uh, I lived in California longer than I did in Utah, and I I just want to um, say. Uh, congratulations to my niece. <coughs> she just had a beautiful baby boy Ooh, called Jax. Hi. Yeah. I mean, so. it's Debbie. I remember Debbie just had a, a grandson. Eight pounds. Nine pounds. Eight pounds or nine pounds? Eight, eight pounds. Oh, why did I ask for my hips hurt? <laughs> my hips just said pie. I mean, oh, my arthritis is killing me. Why did I ask that girl her business like that? Eight pounds. Could you imagine eight pounds? Okay. But I anyway, could imagine two. Uh, how, 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 how much did your nephew weigh? This is your niece. This is your, so I, this is your I, great nephew. I didn't read that. I was looking at the pictures, and I was responding too quick to say, you know, to look at how much weight. He's a happy, healthy baby. Oh. Lots of crying, and um, I hope he cries a lot, you know, when my brother is watching him because... You know your brother can watch the show and hear oh, you I say hope that. so. <laughs> you deserve a, a crying kid. You're a little bit of a hellion. <laughs> oh, he was. Oh my God. I, I love my family to death. I love them. I I, I just got that email to send him my show personally. <laughs> yeah, he's so great. You the, the brother that he really want, you know. You oh, know. he needs a, you know. Uh, he had good, some great kids. You know, he needs a kid that you know cries all the time and uh, you know. And everybody's in Utah, but you. Yeah. You're the only one in California. Yep. So how many brothers and sisters do you have? I have two younger brothers and a younger sister. Okay, All so you were in the middle. Healthy. No, I was, I was, I'm the oldest. You're the oldest. I am. My God. Yeah. I'm number seven out of eight. Oh, really? I'm lucky number seven. That, yeah, that is. I'm the cute one, though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, out of all of them. <laughs> when is your birthday? June 13th. Oh, you were Gemini. Y'all yeah. change personalities. No, not me. Really? I am. I. I'm pretty much you know nice what I am? all the time. You know what I? Am? My birthday? No, I don't. A Leo? <laughs> what? He looked at me. Like that. Uh oh. I'm a Virgo, the Virgin. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what they say, Virgo, the Virgin. Uh, uh, but I am a Virgin. Yeah. Well, if it's after more than how many years, you're a Virgin, right? Me? Never mind. <laughs> no. I, I'd have to say. Okay, we need to cut some stuff here. But he's not gonna. He's not gonna. It's okay. Do it. I'm an open book. 
Tell us. Um, uh, well, back to COA. Yes, let's get uh, back to COA. We also have <laughs> we also have some holiday, you know, functions like um, for Thanksgiving. Um, we have uh, we give away a whole basket, you right, know, with right. you know. All they need to they do is they blessed me with a basket this year. Did they? Mm -hmm. Well, we, you know, we were blessed with um, you know many turkeys uh, and uh, we. We'll make as many as we can, and what they do is they call in, and you know we have to fill out a, a form, mm -hmm. and they just come in and pick it up. We don't, you know, we don't ask, you know, anything. If if you're willing to wait in line or call, there's some need. So I, I give that, you know, and our holiday, um, Christmas holiday, mm -hmm. um, it was it was great. We had <coughs> people waiting around the corner, you know, wow. for the kids. And they started lining up the day before, mm. and I thought, oh, yeah, the kids. do you guys need some water or anything? But the, the kids were staying at home. It was mom and dad waiting in line. Wow. So. But look, they got wrap up, please. All we right. got to go. But first of all, I want to thank you for watching the T. Lily Show. Thank you, Brother George, for being on the T. Lily for my hat. The audience had our T-shirts. And thank you for supporting me, Brandon. Absolutely. Thank you for talking about Christian outreach. Thank you, I love Dixie, it. for allowing them to come. Thank Absolutely. you, Debbie, for being the best assistant ever. And to my audience, I couldn't have a good show without you. Thank you, Brother George, for bringing your whole family. And to your wife, I want to say hello. And also, I want to say again, happy birthday, Colleen. And to Mama Sean Kitchen, we miss you. We got Subway this time. God bless you. And remember, the awards, T. Lily is not So, call Pagnet. I don't know the number. Go Pagnet.tv. They should have all the information. T. Lily got to go. God love you and so do I. To next week. Thanks for watching my show. Peace. <laughs> <laughs>